Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today I have something a little bit different. Um, as you guys know, I went to college to be an automotive technician and during my internship I did my internship with Don Schumacher Racing in the NHRA uh, for funny car drag racing and it went really well and they actually hired me on um, a year and a half ago. So I've been doing that ever since. And as you guys know, I bought a lot of home tools and a lot of tools were supplied to me at the college. I went to a lot of Matco stuff um, that was gonna be used for work. Well, the job I got provides me with every tool I need because I have a specialty job. So all of my tools from college and all of my old home tools are all now at home. So I have plenty of tools here, but I'm gonna quickly go into a video today of my toolbox at work. Now keep in mind, it's a specialty toolbox for my specific job, so it's not going to have a bunch of tools uh, that you would see a normal mechanic using, you know? You'll see all your basic tools, I just keep the bare minimum of what I need to do my specific job. And this is only one of my toolboxes. I have stuff spread out uh, everywhere at the racetrack, and uh, we'll get further in depth in other videos. But I really hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your guys' thoughts. And if you haven't, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the clip. Okay, YouTubers, so we're going to quickly run through the toolbox that I use here at work. Now, this is just one of many that I primarily use. This is my uh, body and tire cart. I have a couple other toolboxes that I have stuff in just a couple drawers just because at the racetrack we work out in many different locations but this is my main box uh, and I just keep you know the stuff in here that I absolutely need so starting over here is just all my chemicals this is uh, this white uh, shoe paint for the rub strip on the front of the car just some cleaning brake clean you know uh, all that kind of stuff other than that, I keep a small tape measure, a couple screwdrivers over here, and a flashlight for checking welds underneath the uh, body and everything. It's basically all going to be Carlisle stuff. That's who we're sponsored by. So, got some slip joint uh, pliers here, a scraper for scraping rubber off the bottom side of the car or the body, a little hammer, 3 8 ratchet, Phillips, and a ratcheting screwdriver. And I use this foam padding to keep everything organized as it's going down the road and everything. Some side snips or uh, flush cuts for zip ties for holding the burst panel and stuff in. Uh, small 3 8 ratchet stubby uh, with an Allen 5 30 seconds because that's what we use on like the wing and a lot of this stuff on the body is that size. Uh, small quarter inch ratchet with 3 8 socket, adjustable wrench, a pick, and a magnet. And then this is kind of my to-go tray that I have set up for when I need to grab, you know, multiple tools, I can just grab this entire tray. I keep a couple razor blades over here, a couple of Allens, and a drill bit. Then all my adapters, the Allens that I primarily use, a wobble socket, small extension. Then I got like uh, 5 16 7 16 half inch. Uh, stuff like that. That's primarily what I use. Same thing with the wrenches. A couple half inch, a couple seven sixteenths, three eighths non ratcheting, five sixteenths quarter inch, and a three eighths ratcheting down here. And then over here, this is the primary screwdriver I use um, for checking windshield uh, bolts and or the window bolts and stuff like that. And then I got a couple custom bent screwdrivers for uh, some of the tight work that we do and then just some adapters for my drills and stuff. First drawer is just gonna be all my drill bits, countersink drill bits, uh, pens, markers, stuff like that. All the information that I have to keep on the car, the body, the tires, all of that. And then just all my notes and stuff that I need to keep. Then next drawer down, this is gonna be my primary bin of bolts and nuts and washers and stuff that I use on the body. This is going to be miscellaneous body stuff, stuff that I don't use quite as often. And then more foam where I hold all my air tools and uh, cordless tools. And then this is going to be more containers of stuff. This is just wheel hardware stuff. Same thing, more wheel hardware. Uh, body repair stuff. This is uh, 
high saw or H3000 kind of do small repairs. This is going to be the front latch that actually holds the front of the body to the chassis. This is some of the hardware that we use and these are the spacers that go in them. I'll do a video in the future uh, so you guys can actually understand what some of this is too. And then this is a lot of uh, the pads and stuff that we use underneath the car that are uh, kind of carbon fibered in. So I do a lot of carbon fiber work and stuff, some sand sanding materials. Uh, these are the front saddles. This is what actually rests on the chassis where the front tree, you know, sits down on it. Bunch of roof hatch stuff, touch up paint, uh, miscellaneous hardware pins. These are actually cut out pieces of aluminum for, uh, I can adjust the wheel wickers to certain widths on the side of the car. Extra carbon fiber pieces just in case I need to do small repairs. Safety glasses. This stuff is all for the parachute system, levers and bimbas and stuff. Airlines for when I'm at the track, a pad for when I had to work underneath the body on the asphalt. Some Clecos, a little weight thing for when I need to measure out like resin hardener and stuff for specific jobs. A couple extra impacts, some Loctite, and this is a small little die grinder. And then down here is going to be a buttload of uh, bolts and stuff. Whenever I change out tires, I'm replacing the bolts for the bead locks. And a little portable light, some pledge or spray on the tree work to keep the rubber from sticking as bad. The uh, high saw gun, some rubber gloves, a bunch of carbon fiber and aluminum pieces down here just in case I need to patch some stuff up. Some uh, gaffer's tape, mask, and gloves. Just miscellaneous stuff. But that's going to be it for uh, my main toolbox. There is some other stuff, but we'll get into that in another video. But really hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.